So let's uh, go through a kind of structured introduction to all the options we have uh, in SPSS. So let's see if we first go to file. Then we have options like new and we have these three options data, syntax and output. Okay. Data is to open a new data file which we have now where we can input data. Syntax is to write a bit of code in a new file and output is if you just want to open a new output file. Okay. So here one misunderstanding about SPSS. You know, SPSS is one of the most popular statistical packages, right? There are many other statistical packages, but SPSS is one of the most popular. But why? Why SPSS is so popular? Normally, we have this, uh, you will see that in SPSS, we can actually just go to these options and click and we will get results. Okay, just we click, click, click and we get results. And th that means it's very user friendly. And that is why it is very popular actually. And sometimes we actually forget that there is another way of working with the SPSS that is you can also write codes, which is the syntax, which is which is yeah, which is what we see here. So in the SPSS normally we always use the click click options, but there is a option to write codes. And the coding user interface is not very friendly. That's why we, when we, yeah, when we do advanced analysis using coding, we go for some other statistical package rather than SPSS. But there are some shortcut ways to make the best of the code option of SPSS as well. And I will show you uh, today a bit how we can deal with syntax. But in general, yeah, one more thing uh, comes up here is that, you know, when I'm saying that the SPSS is so easy because we can just click click and get results, this comes with one disadvantage, which is often we or students or people or whoever doing research, we have some data, we analyze them and we get output and we write a paper or write a report, but we don't understand what is what is really happening there. That's why we have the lectures where we understand how things work and in SPSS we then try to see how what how we apply what we have learned in the lecture okay so both are kind of important and we have to know actually what we are doing in SPSS when we are giving a command what is really happening behind it you know we have to also understand that we should not just use SPSS blindly or any statistical software blindly Okay, given this point, so let's uh, go through all the options we have here. So you can have, yeah, you can have new data window, you can have new syntax, output. We have some advanced coding options here as well. We are not going through that. And then we can also open files. We can open files, uh, data. So you have saved the data file, right? In .sav format before the break. So if you close SPSS, you can open it again from here. You go to open and go to data, and then you can look at where it is and you can just open it, okay? Then we will be more or less in the same place where we are now. So we can open SPSS data, we can open syntax, we can open output, we can also open a script, which we are not going through, okay? And one important uh, option here is import data. Okay, here you see we have some options here. We have Excel, so we can import data from Excel files. We can import from CSV files. We can export from text file. There, are, there, SAS is another statistical software. We can import their format data. Stata is another statistical software. We can import their format data and these ones i do not know <laughs> okay so yeah mostly we will be working with excel and csv uh, this is what we normally get and we will be importing excel and csv files and then we will play with it 
when you have data or, or output you can save it uh, we can also export like these ones we have created this data file right now when we go to save as we can only save in formats which are supported by SPSS but let's say we want to support in Excel actually we can also uh, save in CSV comma delimited file but let's say we want to export the data in different formats then we will go to export we can export in Excel CSV text uh, SAS and status so we can export these data in different formats as well why would we do that why would we export these data for this data most likely because we can use it directly in a space in in this data then but this data can also actually import csv files so that is not really any need for that but anyway and these are some options i have never used in my life and then we have print preview so if you want to print something you can print and here uh, you can see recently used data when you have worked in the recent days uh, You will you can use them you can use, you can just come here and if you want to open you click and you open the data You can just go and click the recent files you have used uh, here It does not have to be data, but other formats as well, and then you can close SPSS. Okay Now come to the edit window here. We can edit uh, we can we can undo redo two options which are used often are these two insert to insert a variable to insert cases within a variable and if you suddenly see that there are some missing values or something like that and if you want to go to that case then you can directly go to that case from from here or directly go to a variable from here we will use them when we'll be doing data analysis and you will see how you, how we use them okay especially uh, this uh, in this uh, go to case is very useful when we have some abnormal values okay then we can just say okay I want to go to this case and it will take you exactly on that case and then you will see uh, what's abnormal there then we have view it's more or less it, it covers this these options like here what what do you want to see in the surrounding places that's what it mostly covers if you want to see the green lines or not if you want to see the value levels or not the status bar yeah if you want to see the data editor window yeah you, but the default I think is a good setting the way it is we have these options here yeah I, I like it this way but you can you can remove the green lines these lines you can remove these if you want but I think it's nice the way we have it this is one of the very important uh, one of the important two the data and here you see there are many options and to be honest again I haven't used many of them and you will also I guess will not need many of them okay so this one is is a good one define data properties and then we have uh, sort variables sort cases to sort them which we can actually do from here directly with the open click here this this one is split case is split file this is used often a lot let's say I want to see some analysis all the analysis I'll be doing from now on I want to see it differently for winter season and for other seasons then I will just go here and say split file and I will select my variable season after that all the analysis I will be doing will be done separately for these two data sets okay but let's have a quick look here define variable properties let's click here you should get something like this this is very useful to define properties of variable when you have many variables which share the same properties what do I mean by that let's say you know like when we do the surveys where you say strongly agree to disagree right 
for all the strongly agree to disagree kind of variables we have to input here one strongly disagree two somewhat disagree three neutral four agree five strongly agree right but then if we want to do if we have 30 questions and if we want to do it for all of them it is painful right it's a waste of time and energy so we don't want to do that we can very easily copy from one to many okay and that's what we can do here when we go to define properties we can actually do more than that we can do quite a few things here we can just press ctrl a we select all of it we move it here and we click continue then we get something like this right So here, th this is the thing, uh, this is the option I was telling you, like we can copy properties, all the properties of a variable from another variable, or we can actually copy properties from this, from one of the selected variable, for instance here selected is this one, one of the selected variable to many other variables. So this is a very handy tool to just copy the properties of different variables quickly, you know, for many of the variables at the same time. But here, if we look here, we have unlabeled and we have these marks, right? So this define va variable properties is also very useful to quickly screen the data. We want to quickly see if all the data are properly labeled, properly defined and all these things. You have 100 variable, then you know you cannot see them very easily one by one so then you use this kind of tool you put all of them together then you see the properties here so here you see season and location we have labeled them right if you remember we have given them some value one zero one two that's why they are not crossed others are marked because they are unlabeled we haven't leveled them we haven't given any value to to these uh, others we see the measure measurement by the scale which is a scale which is nominal we see their role we see the variable name itself right scanned cases is the number of cases we have seven variables here so this is the uh, we have seven cases here seven observations so this is the cases and yeah you can just here we have some more detail we can just click and see for each of them separately okay so yeah if we want to see some more detail about them if you want to make any changes you can make changes from here as well yeah that's mostly it if you make any changes here then you will see this will be marked as changed and we do not have any missing value but if i mark this missing then this one count will be this uh, count five all the five will be considered as missing values okay but we don't want to do that and yeah that's mostly it that's so we can we can see information of all the variables in one place we can copy properties from the variables from one another we have this automatic levels for unleveled variables. If you see here, we do not have any level for advertising expense. Let's click and see what happens. Okay. Yeah. When something is not leveled, you, if you click automatic level, it will just give the level. Okay. And in this case, it is same because it will just give the same numbers. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, about this tool, but I'm not going to save any changes. The three options you will be using all the time are these three, transform, analyze, and graphs. These are the three you will be using more or less all the time, and it, it covers all the important things. The thing is, when I'm talking, uh, it's, it's really, tough to understand what what I mean sometimes but anyway we'll see some examples in transform 
this one is very useful compute variables when we want to compute a new variable based on the information we already have okay you will see how we do it sometimes out of nowhere we want to create a variable we can also do that if we want to make any changes in a variable we will use this record into same variable if we want to make changes and create new variable we'll use this option record into different variables we can also click we can also create dummy variables yeah but these three are I think most used compute record and record into same record into different I will give you examples but after some time and then we have analyze uh, this is the everything more or less is under this tool so you can see we can have a case summary just basic summaries of our data the most interesting one comes with this descriptive where we can do many kinds of charts and some kind of statistics uh, by Shein statistics we will not cover this we will know how to make tables how to compare means uh, we will also do correlations and regressions and some non-parametric test this will be covering in this lecture in the upcoming lectures and then you can make many nice graphs uh, using these tools here you can make bar graphs line graphs pi yeah you can have many different graphs and uh, graphs and we will see some of them today utilities uh, honestly I have not used it extensions sometimes for some kind of analysis we can add extension to SPSS uh, for some advanced analysis which are not here by default so then we can use extensions to add them window yeah it's just about the window and I haven't done much with this yet the help tool is sometimes very useful you know sometimes uh, you will be stuck with what to do with your data or in some analysis process how to interpret the results then you can actually go on topics on supports and forums they have very well documentation PDFs let's just click on one of them yeah, let's click on documentation in PDF format and see what we get you get something like this right and then we can you can choose your language but I'm going for English here you see we have our windows some different information for Mac we have some information but I am more interested in manuals by manuals I mean how to do some analysis for instance regression so let's say you are doing some regression and you want to see how it works in SPSS so you download this PDF you open it we will we will do a lot of regressions in class okay but yeah there are 20 types of reg regression you know we will cover maybe five so depending on your data uh, on the scale of your data and distribution of your data and many other things there are many different types of regressions okay so we will cover the most uh, applicable ones and most used ones but there are many and then sometimes you can learn from here I think they have some steps how to do it and what can you do yeah they have these uh, steps for different analysis and yeah, how to do different regression what what do the regression means and all these things so this is just for you to know that if you need some resources you have lots of resources here okay and for many other variables uh, many other kinds of analysis